First, uh, I'd like to give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and to my youth pastor, Timothy Hopkins. And can we give them all our television audience a clap? As always, thank you for tuning into our broadcast. Today, I'm going to be starting a new series that's going to be dealing with life after death. I'll be breaking it up in sections. So today's topic is final designation. Where are we going when we die? Death has interested people all over the world for thousands of years. But though death is fascinating, many fear it because they wonder, where are they going when they die? Do they die like dogs where life is no more? Or do we sleep eternally in the grave, rotting in the king? What is death, and why do we die? Why is death here? And when death comes, you know, what happens? What happens with time? What goes on next? These are all good questions. And um, a lot of people, uh, they don't realize this, but there is life after death. Amen. It doesn't end right there, you keep going. Yeah. There is a world far more real than our own. And with the help of the Holy Spirit, we're going to break down each of these questions and topics. So, let's start, you know, obviously with death. Death is the gateway to the real world. A place that can be beautiful, or a place that can be constant torment, having no end. There are many stories that talk about immortality, which is very popular in fantasy, in sci-fi books, and TV shows. Though we have mortal bodies, we are really immortals walking this earth. And what do I mean by this? Our human bodies are mortal, and eventually these bodies will die and pass away one day, but our spirits which is our life lines, our, the real us, we live on into eternity. We never die. And, you know, when that day comes, we either go up or down, heaven or hell. And you don't want to go to hell. You can't get out. This is why it's important to get your life together right now. Because if you don't know Jesus and accept him in your heart as your Lord and Savior, you will be lost forever. Amen. So some people would say, oh, you're using this as a scare tactic. No, it's the truth. It's in the Bible. Amen. You don't want to be lost in hell. That ain't cool. Amen. You can't break out. This ain't asking that. Is that the um, well-known prison where people uh, broke out? I forgot the name of it. Alcatraz. There we go. Thank you. Can't break out of that one. So, we are all going to die one day, and there's no stopping that. But many people have tried to stop death by trying to live longer, trying to find the fountain of youth. But there is no fountain of youth. We don't live forever on this earth. Because God numbered, numbered our years to 120 because of man's sinful heart. God numbered how long our human bodies live on this earth. But our spirits cannot die. We are the living image of God. Since God cannot die, we cannot die. Because he is a spirit. So, therefore, try to get things together. You won't be lost. No amount of intelligence or invention are doing good things can keep you alive longer on this earth, nor by your way to heaven. Jesus said, it is hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Jesus knew that some people that are wealthy, they don't trust in him fully because they trust in their wealth, not in God. They trust in human things, not things of God. Jesus said, enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. 
There are two places we all will go to, heaven or hell. With both of these paths we choose, we go and we die for those they choose. I'm sorry, I don't repeat myself. We go to both these places. And uh, the way we live our lives here uh, determines where we go. Amen. Some people, they choose the wrong path unconsciously, while others choose it knowingly. There is no middle ground when you leave your body. Some people believe when you die, their spirit goes to a place of waiting. So someone can pray you into heaven, but that does not exist. Amen. There is no purgatory. Amen. No one can pray into heaven. When you die, that's it. Your spirit leaves. And death, it is not prejudice. It does not matter who you are, Amen. what you believe in, your ethnicity, or your position in life. Death claims us all one day. Nearly two million people die every day, but these devastating numbers do not bother us until we lose someone we love. When we lose a loved one, we begin to think more about life. We begin to question it, because we won't see our loved ones anymore. But as we question life, we look up at the sky and wonder, what is beyond space and all its stars? What is beyond this life? Where do we go? Death is a curse to human beings. We were, we were never meant to die. We were meant to live forever in this earth. But due to the fall of man, we suffer the repercussions. Many fear death because they don't understand it. They don't know why we die. And for others, death claims our loved ones. They, um, when death claims their loved ones, they think um, that they, uh, when they die, that's it. And some people, they try to preserve uh, their loved ones' bodies because they don't understand. And when you die, your spirits leave your bodies. So there's a story I found was really interesting. Um, it's a true story. It started uh, in December 6, 1920. Uh, there was a little girl named Rosalia. She was the daughter of a Sicilian official named Mario Lombardo. The little girl died of pneumonia. She was only two years old. Her father couldn't handle burying his daughter, so he searched for a professor of chemistry to preserve his daughter's body. Shortly after the professor worked on preserving her, she is placed in the catacombs in Sicily, where her body remains today. Her mummy is 99 years old, but the professor did such a good job of preserving her body, she looks like she's simply sleeping. It's pretty little girl. They called her Sleeping Beauty because uh, her body is near perfect. I think her brain just shrunk just a little bit. And though the story is sad, the point I wanted to make is the little girl's uh, spirit is no longer there. Amen. Her body is just the empty shell with no spirit. Amen. Her spirit left as soon as she died, going into the next world. Some people believe when they die, they can take their earthly possessions with them. The pharaohs of Egypt believe they can take all their riches and stuff. You should have seen stuff they take with them. Uh, well, in the, the tomb. Uh, statues, swords, expensive stuff, gold. But the day you came, you, you, uh, when you were born, you came with nothing. So when you leave, you leave with nothing. These are earthly possessions. Our spirits are supernatural beings. They're beyond these earthly realms. So you can't take that when you die. One man even told his wife, the story's kind of funny, I think he's a little mean, uh, he was really uh, rich, but he went not share with his wife, and he told her, put all my money in my casket when I die. So she kept her promise, she wrote him a check and put it in his casket. <laughs> 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 his 
one woman said, are you serious? And she goes, oh, I kept my promise. I wrote him a check. And I put all that in the check so we could take that and ground with <laughs> I think he was a little mean. <laughs> but um, <laughs> in television shows, um, particularly The Mummy, because it's my favorite show, they say uh, death is only the beginning. And that's true. Some of these TV shows, they have half-truths about the afterlife. Um, there is another world waiting for us. And it is just the beginning. Because look at Jesus. When he died on the cross, he knew his spirit was leaving these earthly realms, going into the supernatural world, which is the real world. That's when uh, Jesus whipped up the devil. We don't know where he did but he sure whipped him up over there. Amen. Yes, Praise he did. The Lord. Praise the Lord. And see, as a point of reference, death is inescapable. But the good news is, we don't have to fear death because God, our Father, sent down his one and only Son, Jesus Christ, Amen. to die on the cross so all of our spirits can be saved so that one day we can all go to heaven if we accept Jesus in our hearts Amen. as our Lord and Savior. Amen. Jesus was our sacrificial lamb. Amen. He was sent down so we wouldn't have to go to hell. Isn't that nice? We got option. Isn't that beautiful? Amen. The devil doesn't give you an option. Amen. He wants you to go with him, but he does. But God always gives us an option. Amen. And second and third chances. So don't fear death. Don't let the devil torment you. Don't let the devil have control over your mind, Amen. running you crazy. You fight the devil with your sword of the spirit and the shield of faith. Bind and rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. Amen. A lot of people are going crazy because the devil's messing with them. Amen. All you got to do is take your authority. You tell the devil to take his hands off your mind in the name of Jesus. Amen. Many of you right now are living in fear because of all that's happening. Both men and women of color are being murdered, police officers being killed. Trouble is at every end. But though trouble is always consuming and death and fear is always there, the Lord is telling us, do not fear. Because God has given us, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And death, don't fear it, says the Lord. Trust in me, the Lord is saying. Trust in me and I will protect you. Pray, the Lord is saying. Pray for protection. Pray for change. Because only prayer can change things. Only prayer can help you. And peace, the Lord is leaving us. May his peace give us wonderful sound minds. He's telling us not to let our hearts be troubled, neither be afraid. The Lord has always conquered everything. There will always be tri tribulation, but the Lord's always there to save you. He has already overcome the world. And always remember, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And for now, I'll stop here, but I'll continue on later in this morning. Amen. But if you would like to um, receive Jesus Christ in your heart, say, Dear Heavenly Father, I'm a, I'm a sinner. Forgive me of all my sins. I believe that Jesus Christ died and rose again. Come live in my heart, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. And remember that the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit.